Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card by Vanguard Absolute Zero deck profile. This is the new deck that we got out of the latest Card by Vanguard Sparkling Stars booster set. It's a really interesting deck that focuses on the energy blast power to use for the Absolute Zero cards, which also gain additional card abilities when they are discarded from the hand, depending on the card you discard, but also being able to make use of our main go-to Vanguard, Absolute Zero, Sagita, for the Energy Blast abilities and also just the additional pressure that this card can provide with that discard power that we mentioned before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck as standard. We have the Energy Generator with our grade zero being Absolute Zero, Rix, when wrote upon. If you went second, draw a card. Our grade one is Absolute Zero, Kalio. When placed by riding from Absolute Zero, Rix, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to one card with Absolute Zero or Judge Manin in its card name from among them, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle the deck. So it's just search power, the standard check top seven to add a specific card that you may need for the engine later on. Our grade two is Absolute Zero, Kashua. When wrote upon by a grade three card with Absolute Zero in its card name, choose an Absolute Zero, Clow, from your soul, and call that card and this card to rear guard. So just more of an immediate setup. Being able to call Kutu cards out as well definitely is an immense pressure play that this card can do along with the clow that you call to rear also which we can go over real quick the rear guard ability if a vanguard is a grade three gear unit with absolute zero for your vanguard and also your opponent's vanguard's grade three gear you can discard a card from your hand and this unit gets all your front row units get plus five to end of turn so just being able to power up your front row rear guards thanks to a discard one off of the grade one with our grade three being the absolute zero sagita that we mentioned before along with with the copy that we are running in the ride deck. I do want to run three additional copies of this card as well, but only had the copies that I was able to pull from the set so far. So three additional copies with this card. All of your and your opponent's units get the continuous on Vanguard or Rearguard. If it is the fourth battle this turn or more, when this unit will attack, if it, it cannot attack unless you discard a card from your hand. So that is the pressure that this card provides for the initial discard power for you and your opponent. It's really immense that you can just go off of the restriction for your opponent to attack multiple times by making it so your opponent has to give up hand resources to do so. And also on Vanguard once per turn, you can energy blast four and this unit gets plus 10,000 and drive plus one till the end of the turn. So it kind of takes away from you wanting to do more attacks just for the fact that you can rely on a pressured vanguard thanks to an energy blast four for an additional plus drive and 10,000 power and on the vanguard once per turn when your card is discarded from hand by a card's ability in your turn you can counter blast one and draw a card so it once per turn make up for that draw, that draw so with this card if it's the fourth battle of the turn or more you can make up for the discard that you would do for your additional attack by at least being able to draw one off of this card's ability for the grade twos, we're running three additional copies of Absolute Zero Kashua. With this card on rearguard, when this unit attacks a vanguard, if you have a grade three or grade vanguard with Absolute Zero on its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 to the end of that battle. At the end of the battle, retire this unit and draw a card. So it gives you more draw power as well. So you may have to discard for some of the attacks in your hand, but you can at least use this card for draw power for that additional makeup of another card on the field. For other grade twos, as I said, I was missing some cards for the deck, but still wanted to do the deck profile. I'm not planning on fully building this you know, deck out, so I may not have the cards available for a, you know, future video, but still want to update what I have since it is the new deck in the set. I do want to run four copies of Light of the Flower Garden Judge Maiden, Rihanna. When this card is placed on rearguard, if you have a Vanguard with Absolute Zero on its card name, Counter Blast 1, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose up to one card with Absolute Zero or Judge Maiden in its card name from among them, and reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle the deck. And when this unit attacks a grade three or grade Vanguard, it gets plus five to the end of that battle. So another plus five option that you can also get from the grade one which is another placeholder for this spot, along with two Dreaming Fever Tefnia for a boost ability. But once again, they're just placeholders because you do want to run four copies of this grade two if you can in the deck. Same with the other triple rare option, which is Sky Color Tranquility Judge Maiden Arca. I have the new Valer and the reprinted Vash Laban for placeholders for this card. When it's discarded from the hand during your turn, if you have a Vanguard with absolute zero in its card name, you energy charge one. So making up for some of the energy blasts you may do with this card. And from the 
the drop when your grade three or grade vanguard with absolute zero on its card name attacks. If you do not have a unit with the same card name as this one, you may call it to rear guard. So you can get a retire off of your grade two, making way for you to be able to call this card out to the field for that additional attack number. And when it attacks, if you have a grade three or grade vanguard with absolute zero on its card name, it gets plus 10,000 to end of battle. So another power boost if you persona rode this turn, you'll have the plus 10 from this card and the persona ride to be able to attack with just 30,000 alone thanks to this card. And also three copies of Cloak of Rest Judge Maiden, Kalknoll. When discarded from the hand during your turn, if you have a Vanguard with absolute zero on its card name, choose one of your rear guards, and it gets plus five until end of turn. So even if you have to discard this for your Vanguard's ability, you can at least be giving five to another unit that hasn't attacked yet for an additional power boost that it may have needed, also going up against your opponent. We're running four copies of Loving Pink Francet as well. When this card, it, you basically use this card for when this unit attacks. If you have three or more units with different card names, this unit gets plus five to end of turn. And if you have four or more different units with different card names at the end of that battle, choose one of your other rear guards and return it to the hand. So this card can be good for the bounce power if you need a discard to be able to use bouncing another card so you at least have that card that you bounce thanks to Frenset to then be able to discard afterwards. For the grade ones, we're running four copies of Surreptitious Prayer Judge Maiden, Crawley. When this card is discarded from hand during your turn, if you have a Vanguard with absolute zero on its card name, put this card into your soul. So it gives you soul charge power. Instead of just discarding a card to the drop zone, you make up for it by at least being able to put it into the soul to be able to use for some soul blast power. And on the guard circle, if you have a Vanguard with absolute zero and its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. So on top of that, you also have a 10k guard unit to be able to go up against your opponent with. We're also running four copies of Cooling Heart Yuika. This is just one of the things we'll use our Soul Charge power for cards like Krail for us to be able to then also power up our unit that we place on rear guard in front of this unit. And at the end of the battle, this unit boosted a rear guard. You can Soul Blast one, choose one of the boosted rear guards, and return to the hand. Returning it to the hand once again to use if need be for the discard cost of some of our other cards we run in the deck. With the last of our grade ones being four copies of D of Refresh and Calm Christine. You can run, you know, whichever Sentinel you want for choice for this spot in the deck. It's really just player preference up to this point. And for our Regalis piece, we're running the one copy of Bracing Angel Ladder. It was reprinted in the set three, so a little more easy to afford now as just another protection card for your rear guards, also giving you soul buildup and also power to your Vanguard and draw power. So it really provides everything just in the form of one Regalis piece for you to use. With our trigger lineup being the seven critical with the four ability triggers, Precious Tune Edwidge being reprinted helps a bit for just picking up some, you know, spare copies you may need from the latest set. Same with Baratois. I do need to fill in the rest of the spot with four copies of this draw trigger as well when I get to it. And the heels running the two of us flow and rhyme along with the two vanilla triggers as well. Uh, Hush Diva Hortense. And the over trigger of choice I chose Edo's Farah just for the choose a card from your drop put into your hand and one of your units get critical plus one to end of turn for added pressure that we can do with our Vanguard on top of the original critical that it can also get also. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.